Hi, my name is Jones, and today I'm going to show you how to make more flexible FNF chromatic scales, or flex chromatics for short, not that it can be confused with the FL plugin. This isn't the official name for what I'm making, but I haven't heard any other names for this, so I just made one up. If there is an official name, feel free to put it in the comments. This tutorial revolves around an FL Studio specific plugin, so I apologize to other DAW users, this tutorial won't work for you. If you're a user of a different DAW like Ableton Live or Pro Tools and then decide to make a tutorial similar to mine, feel free to share your video in the comments. I may even pin your comment or link it in the description. Okay, that being said, we could get into the tutorial now. Disclaimer, this tutorial is going to function as if you already know the basic knowledge of making a chromatic scale, so keep that in mind. Uh, so if you're wondering what a flexible FNF chromatic is, or a flex FNF chromatic, it's a chromatic scale that al allows you to utilize every vowel with every note. Uh, what I mean by that is, is that certain vowels are stuck to one note. Like in, in this example right here, as I show you, every note uh, sticks to one vowel. So uh, when you make a melody like this, oh, whoops. Oh, gotta get the. You don't really choose the vocals there, if that makes sense. Yeah, in typical FNF chromatic fashion, the vocal samples are arranged in such a way where certain vowels are tied to certain notes, making it sound like what you just heard. Usually that's not an issue, but it could become one when you feel that your re melody sounds repetitive and stagnant. Like, if I were to show you Dad Battle, for example, this is me recreating it from memory, uh, but... As you can see at the end, that e e e e e e that that gets a little it kind of hurts your ears when you. Of course, you might be able to fix this with uh, a slight like slide notes, but that might give you uh, a sound that you don't like, like that. Maybe you're not looking for that. Uh, but luckily, I have a solution to this. Now, some of you may be thinking that I'm going to make a separate chromatic for all of BS vocals and then put them in the different instruments. But if you're thinking that, you're both right and wrong. I am going to make a separate chromatic for each vowel, but I'm not going to put them into the channel rack as different instruments. While it may serve the same, ser like, the same purpose, the channel rack could get a little bit more messy. Like, here's an example with uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, in the channel rack it it's it may become hard to navigate when you have a million different uh, instruments a part of it uh, so uh, sorry I'm, I, I'm reading through my script again I'm kind of recording this live this isn't really edited okay uh, my method will resolve this issue uh, whilst completing the same purpose okay so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna get all of your uh, chromatics, like main sounds, like this. And just, and then ha get them separated here. And just make sure that they're separate audio files. Like, just separate them however you need to. Uh, if you're sampling from your own voice, I would just record all the samples like separately uh, okay so you could have as many samples as you want only up to 16 though so uh, uh, ignore that because there's only uh, 60 MIDI, 16 mini MIDI channels in FL studio so you are limited by that okay uh, but besides that, you can make as many as you want. And once you have all your samples, just go through the standard process of making a chromatic. Uh, for time constraints, I have already done that. Like, you put it up here, I've already made each of the chromatics. And once you do that, 
either open up Fruity Slicer or SliceX. I like to use SliceX more in my personal opinion. And uh, make sure that all the slices are normal, like in your usual setting. Then what you're gonna wanna do is create a direct wave instrument, like how I am here. Uh, find wherever you want to put it. I I want I decided to put all the different uh, direct wave instruments into a folder, just to make it more easy. And and once you uh, got this all set up, export that. All right. Uh, and there you go. You got. You got yourself all the different sounds. Anyways, uh, ignoring all of those, I'm just going to go for a fresh direct wave just to make things a little easier on people. So, uh, get get the file with all those uh, DWPs that you just made. They stand for direct wave presets, if anyone's wondering. Uh, and uh, go to the multibank. You'll start out on this on direct wave. Go to the multibank and drag these in uh, to their uh, different like levels. Oh, whoops! Did the actually put that one over? And e. Oh, whoops. E. Yeah, it doesn't matter which order you put them in. If you have a specific order you want, that's completely fine. But for functionality, it does not matter. There we go. We got all our samples. And there we go. Um, so now we'll get the direct wave. We're on direct wave one, and it should work how I want. Okay, now if we switch, It works. Now I just got to check with all of them. There, that way, now you got a uh, more uh, freedom with your FNF vocals. I I hadn't gotten a melody prepared for this, so I'm just going to cop. I'm just gonna cut and paste this into Direct Wave and. How we'll do this is that we'll select these and uh, I'll I'll see uh, which ones we want to do. Ignore uh, the ugly colors. I do recommend uh, changing the default FL colors because they're kind of hard to differentiate between. Uh, but uh, it might not be that big of an issue. Okay, Alt C. Yeah, you could you could use Alt C in order to uh, in order to change them all of one area. And if you want to change the color, then just right click this and it'll let you change the color. Let's see. Do we got all the different? Um, we'll do one last one down here. Okay. Alt C. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is very unscripted as you could see. All right, and you get something more like this. Oh, wait, <laughs> sorry, my bad. All right, whoops. Well, this sounds a little funny, probably because the way I made my chromatic, I, I used a generator, which might not be the best solution. I, I'll probably make a better one and scrap this one, but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, there you go. And if you want to save this, all you need to do is uh, click this little arrow at the top of the window, go to save preset as, then I guess uh, navigate to wherever you want to put it. I'll put it in my chromatic scales FSTs folder and Call it boyfriend. Dot FST. There you go. So, uh, if you want to like send this to your friends, all you need to do is send them that FST. You don't need to send them any of the other uh, 
stuff that we made just this you could just load this into anything and it, it'll work and that's it for the tutorial I'll leave a, a Google Drive link to this uh, particular one in the description so now you guys could try it out for yourself okay that's it uh, see you later bye